I'm Paul Country. Welcome here to Holy Cross Men's and Women's Basketball Media Day. I am thrilled to be able to bring in uh, Lauren Morris here from Holy Cross College. Lauren, I tell you what, you come from a great ba- basketball legacy, and I know that uh, you're trying to make, uh, you know, kind of your own path, make your own ways, but Boy, I tell you what, you come from great uh, uh, gene pool. Mom was Miss Basketball, playing for the Bruins of Fort Wayne North of High School. What's it like growing up in a family where that's on the table, huh? Yeah, so, I mean, I've grown up in even the high school where they have, you know, a lot of players that they look up to. And I looked up to my mom as well. But kind of having that idol or that person that you could see um, who progressed as well in her high school years, I was able to have a good background with my teammates sure. in high school. So, um, yeah, just being able to have that experience, I think, shaped who I am today, and I was kind of able to make my be my own type of person with that experience as well. And you also played for a great high school coach, and my buddy Chris Huppenthal, him and his brother Joe, two of the best women's basketball coaches in the state of India. Chris at Hamilton Southeastern has been spectacular over the course of his career. What was it like playing for Chris Hupp? Yeah, so I say just with my level, um, I was – basically under all D1 players, right? Yep. Um, I'd say we, I had about 10 D1 basketball players playing above me. So I wasn't really getting playing time sure. or kind of the attention that, I mean, would be ideal for a lot of people. But um, coming from that, I'd say being here at Holy Cross now where I can kind of focus on me and get the exposure and the kind of progress that mm-hmm. I've always wanted playing basketball is a blessing and I'm glad that I have a coach to be able to do that 23 minutes a game is that about where you need to be or do you are you looking for 30 35 or I mean because there's a huge uh physical demand on 20 minutes a game so as you get as you're getting older have you put your body through all the preparation that's need to be able to if coach Robbins say hey listen Lauren I need to, I need you on the floor for 32 minutes a game yeah, so I'd say in the past years, I definitely didn't prepare myself like I did for this year. I don't know what it was, but I'd say in the summer, I kind of stepped up. Um, I, I don't know. I think it's maturity in Absolutely. a way, but um, I definitely would get out every day and try to make myself better in some type of way, whether that's physical, mental. Um, but I'd say both of those aspects are pretty important. So this summer was big for me because I worked really hard both in the gym and um, just physically, so like weights and stuff and running. So I'm in a much better shape this year, and I think um, it's helping me kind of play better. Um, even though I have to work on a lot of things, I'd say me physically it's going to help for the season a lot. With a roster of only 10 gals on it, you've got to be able to make sure that you're ready when called upon if you have to go into that uh, 35 minutes a game type of situation. So good for you for, to be able to, to give us an idea. Uh, have you sat down with Coach Tom and say, he, as you said, hey, listen, I need for you to improve on your shooting percentage. I need to, you to work better on your defensive abilities. So have you guys sat down and had that conversation and, and talk about your preparation during this off season? Yeah, so I'd say I am kind of different with my preparation than some um, people, which is crazy to think about. But I'd say it's more of my mental um, abilities out on the court, just being more confident. Um, I've heard both from uh, Coach Robbins and just in the past with coaches is more about my confidence and um, having kind of like that ability to think, oh, it's going in, except, I mean, instead of saying like, oh, is it going to go out or in? Um, So I'd say over the summer, I definitely gained confidence. um, And I still am, you know, it's still something that I can work on, but um, it's way better than last year. And Coach Robbins has really helped me with continuing to help with my confidence. Well, you talk about shooting. Yeah. You're at 31% mm-hmm. last year yeah. from three-point range, and I know that idealistically you'd like to get that in the high 40s and the, or right. even closer to 50%. Mm-hmm. And that really comes down to just getting out. And I've always said that uh, basketball players are made during the summer, not during the season. Mm-hmm. So talk about your regimen of shooting, making sure you worked on those skill sets. Yeah, so I'd say um, over the summer my dad helped me a lot with shooting. But he also helped me out with other aspects on the court, like driving um, and making sure I had a wide range out on the court. Because last year, I think I was so, you know, used to shooting and Mm -hmm. not, you know, creating my own shots. So I think this year I'm still getting used to when I create finishing and, you know, doing better at that, too. Okay, so let's talk about the culture that Tom's uh, created. I've talked with all the gals today, and I know that's one thing that's been really kind of the common denominator 
on what this program has really become as Tom moves into his fourth year as the varsity head coach here at Holy Cross. He calls it sisterhood. Can you define that? So I'd say looking at Holy Cross women's basketball, um, sisterhood was kind of not there when I got here. It kind of you looked around, you did not know where it was at. Um, but I'd say Coach Robbins really defined what it was, which is just knowing that having a better connection off the court is what will bring it to on the court. Um, and this year, you can see it. It's way better than my previous years, especially. Um, but I think he involves leaders. Like, uh, the leaders that we have on the court, or the captains especially, help out with sisterhood. And we make sure that we stay as a team and we do things outside of the court as well together. Lauren, when you, in closing, you, the, the Chicagoland Collegiate Athletic Conference is a tremendously rugged, uh, it is a league that you've got to bring your A game each mm -hmm. and every time out. Can you speak to the level of play? Because you played in a great league in high school, so you, you know what it's like to bring your A game all the time. So can you speak to the league and what are your concerns as you look at the league? Yeah, so I'd say, um, like you said, coming from kind of like a background of just having so much competition like behind sure. you, um, I'd say it prepared myself a lot. Um, but at the same time, I'd say um, being able to still play NAIA and having that competition as well is a big thing. And our team this year, I think, can really handle it. And we're going to be, if not better this year, and um, basically – you know, doing better as a team and working harder as a team, which will help us lead in more wins, I'm pretty sure. Best of luck this year, kiddo. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, Loris, Lauren Morris, our special guest here on Holy Cross Men's and Women's Basketball Media Day. We'll be back with more from the File Center right after this.